Hello. I'm going to talk today about learning languages with ease. Now this is actually going to be quite a trivial video and don't expect it to be mind-blowing or anything like that but it's an important topic that I want to cover anyway. I've actually touched on this topic in one of my other videos earlier called active and passive vocabulary or something like that but I wanted to isolate the topic into a video of its own. So Every now and again, people say to me, what's the easiest way to learn a language? And there are courses called things like Assimil's French with ease. And this got me thinking about what does ease actually mean? Well, I looked it up in the dictionary and it turns out ease actually has two definitions. The first definition is great for marketing, but that's all. The second definition is great for actual results. And that's the one that I'm going to mostly focus on. So ease in the marketing definition from the dictionary says without effort. You can learn French or whatever without any effort at all. Learn it in your sleep. I don't believe it. The other definition of ease is without pain or anxiety. You can learn the language with effort but it will not cause you pain or anxiety. Now in fact Michel Thomas in his own tapes says that anxiety and stress are the enemy of learning and I agree that heartily. Anything that's painful we avoid, we put a barrier against it. So we need to le learn to not have a painful approach to language learning. But we want one that produces results, that is easy, that it involves effort but that it delivers. So. I've looked into several methods, um, for example, Asimil. The marketing probably wants you to imagine that ease means without effort, but it doesn't. It actually means without pain. And the Michel Thomas courses and Luca, Polyglotta 80 on YouTube with his full circle method. Um, a lot of my own work when I was first learning Czech was based on this, there's a two volume series actually, um, called the Nepustil method. This is for people learning Czech or for people learning English, it works for both. And what these methods have in common is a set of basic practices and principles. They sound too simple, but my experience and that of other people is they actually work. And I think you could be um, very successful if you apply these principles on a daily basis. You can do other study besides these, of course, and I actively encourage you to, but I think this is a very good core to um, language study. So here are the basic principles. Take something in L2, that is the target language that you're learning. Translate it into L1 your own language. Translate it back to the target language, the one that you're learning. Yes? So you take a sentence in French, translate it to English, then translate it back to French and you keep doing that with progressively more complicated sentences. Because in addition to this, they're not telling you to go and start with Shakespeare. No, you start off with small things, simple sentences. I am a man. <laughs> you translate that to French. No, tr well, sorry. Okay, you'd see I am a man in your target language, then translate it into English, then translate it back to your target language. So start with small things. I live in Prague or whatever. And then practice combining them. This is essential because the way to make complicated, sophisticated expressions is to combine thousands of small, simple ones that you're completely, completely familiar with. Yeah? Okay. Then work for 30 minutes to one hour per day. Any less than that, you're not exposing yourself enough and not putting enough effort in. Any more than that, and you risk exhausting yourself and burning out because this is not a sprint, it's long term because it takes several months 
I know that the Michel Thomas courses promise things like speak French in or whatever in 12 hours. But that's only taking you to a very trivial level. In reality, the Asimil course, Lucas course, the Nepostil course, and the full courses for for French from Michel Thomas, for example, are going, you're going to be putting in six months of half an hour to an hour a day in order to reach a reasonable conversational level, not native-like, but reasonable conversational ability. And that's it. That's the whole approach. So you just start out with something really trivial, like ich, that's German, it means I. So how do you say I in German? Ich. Hmm, I've got that now. So can. Oh, that's easy. That just means can. So how do I say can in German? Hmm, can. That's good. Verstehen. So that means understand. How do I say understand in German? Hmm, verstehen. So, I can. I'm now combining these two words. Ich kann. I can. Hmm, ich kann. Hmm, I've got that down. So, how am I going to say I can understand? Hmm, ich kann verstehen. That means I can understand. Yes, ich kann verstehen. So, you're moving between the languages. Yeah? Now, some people say, mm, that's no good. We don't want our own language in there. Because then we'll be forever translating between the two languages. And my experience and that of Luca and others. Why do you think it's in Asimil? Why do you think it's in Michelle Thomas? This is because the way to stop needing to translate is to be able to translate instantly, to be able to quickly have your thoughts move between the two languages, like just like these simultaneous translators do, or you know, the, um, at conferences and so on. They aren't constantly thinking, oh, what was the word, what was the word? No, they're completely capable of expressing themselves in both languages. So the way to not have to translate is to start out realizing that you're going to have to go through the process until you're really rapid at it. And slowly it'll fade away so it won't be necessary anymore. Then you'll just be using your target language. So that's it. As I said, very simple video touching on a simple topic. But I just wanted to say that ease has two meanings. The without effort meaning is marketing and should be ignored. But the without pain is very realistic. It can keep you going for the long term. It can make language learning a pleasure. This is how to do it.